everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Yana and in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some amazing long-lasting fresh fragrances it is so hard to find a good like long-lasting fresh smelling scent for the summer but I have a whole bunch here so I'm actually gonna be ranking this one from 10 to 1 I don't usually do countdowns but I thought for this list because they do really vary in terms of like value and longevity and kind of like overall ranking it was kind of easy for me to put them in order from 10 to 1. so let's get started on number 10 is tiffany and co eau de parfum this one is a really fresh musky scent with iris so it has a little bit of powderiness but it has a very crisp edge it has these beautiful citruses in the opening, just like lemon and mandarin. You get this delicious, slightly sweet mandarin note in the opening. It's really bright. It's a perfect, clean, elegant fragrance for the summer. It really does give you the vibe of like a clear, crisp, like crystal or diamond. Just the way that the Tiffany brand is, it's very well communicated in this fragrance. And there's also a little bit of patchouli in the base, so it does help it last. I get a good six to eight hours out of this one. So it's definitely a nice long lasting one. It has a nice powdery touch towards the dry down. Really, really elegant, very feminine, very, very easy to wear and super long lasting. So that is Tiffany & Co on number 10. On number nine is Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. This is just a molecular based scent. So if you guys have ever heard of fragrances like Molecule 01, Glossier U, a lot of fragrances like that, they're just, um, they're just uh, chemical compounds that smell really pleasant and last long and they're perfect for layering as well because they'll make any fragrance last longer. So this is like a musky, ambery scent. It really smells like your skin but better. And this one, like it smells like a hug when you wear it. It's this like fluffy, clean aura around you. I really love this one. It's kind of abstract like it's not a distinct like oh it smells like this or it smells like that it's like a little bit salty skin like warm sweet like delectable fresh and yet you don't know what it is it's like this ghost of a fragrance it's really beautiful it's not super expensive this one too is about six to eight hours and the great thing about it is like when you layer it with anything else it really helps the fragrance project so people will be able to smell it more and i've layered it with so many things i've layered it with la petite robe noire and people smell it and they are wowed so whatever you were wearing before that maybe they couldn't smell or maybe didn't have a wow factor this will add that wow factor so whether on its own or layered this is a must-have so that's on number nine on number eight is the oh so expensive ex nihilo fleur narcotique this one is addictive it is narcotic it's all of those things and i only have a teeny tiny little guy because of that price point that's why it's only on number eight because it is so expensive it's hard to justify the the value but it is actually such a beautiful scent it's one of my favorite fragrances of all time it's peony it's moss it's like it's dry, it's addictive, it's a little bit sweet, it's magical, like really one of my absolute favorite fragrances ever. I really do need to get myself a full bottle of this. There's a beautiful bright lychee note in here as well with peach, so that combined with the peony and that dry mossiness just gives it this magical touch that I have never found in any other fragrance. And this one lasts me eight to nine hours. I can smell it most in the first three to four hours of wearing, and then it doesn't have quite as massive of a projection, but it does project massively in the beginning. So this one, yeah, just the, the scent profile is absolutely magical. So if you guys haven't tried it, you absolutely need to try it. If you can't get your hands on the original, there are fragrance oils that I'll link down in the description for you guys. So you can check those out instead. And on number seven is another rose fragrance, a different take on rose. And this is Bond number nine, Gold Coast. This is an aquatic -y, beautiful, fresh rose with watermelon. It also has a note of lychee. It's aquatic in the sense that you actually feel this watery note in here. It's almost like it's almost like you're drinking it when you spray it. It's really beautiful. 
and it's not sweet it's not a candy-esque watermelon it's just very refreshing it's it's just a burst of summer air like by the ocean it's it's lovely and um, the rose is not in your face it's not sweet it's not super rosy everything just blends so beautifully in this fragrance and you really feel like you're by the ocean somewhere and you're catching little whiffs of someone's fruity picnic, a little bit of a rose garden, that fresh ocean air. And this one, I have a tester bottle. I got this on Fragrance Buy off the like Bond Number 9 website. It's obviously a lot more pricey, but you can find this for just over a hundred bucks. And it lasts also a good like eight hours. So this one, definitely a beautiful summer, fresh aquatic rose. And I think that people who like Delina would also really, really enjoy this. It's a little bit of a different take on Rose, but I feel like if you like one, you're likely to enjoy this. On number six is Diptyque's L'Ombre dans l'eau. I have the Eau de Toilette, but the Eau de Parfum is very strong as well. This one, if you guys like Flora Botanica, it's discontinued now. This one's really worth checking out. It's kind of like as well, if you like one, you'll like the other. This has a lot of cassis. It's a very fresh green kind of biting herbal scent. As well, if you like um, herbaceous fragrances like Blackberry and Bay from Jo Malone, you'd probably really like this. This is also very similar to the Diptyque's Room Spray Bay, which I actually have on my mantle right there. It's very similar to Bay, but it's a little bit more um, a perfume like less of a room spray, more of a perfume, but they are quite similar. And it's it's all about black currant, black currant leaf, rose. Mm, it's so good. It's very green and crisp, but not green in the way that grass is green. Like not like fresh cut grass. I really don't like the smell of fresh cut grass and fragrance is actually very much of a turn off in a fragrance for me if something smells like fresh cut grass. Like I don't know who likes the smell of fresh cut grass. I actually think it's pretty gross, but I'm going off on a tangent here. This one, not fresh cut grass. This one is just a very fresh herbaceous green scent. Really beautiful, lasts all day. Like I'm not even exaggerating, all day. Eight, nine hours, no problem with this one. And I haven't uh, tried the Eau de Parfum anytime recently, but I remember them being very similar when I tried them at the boutique. So you can go for either one. Number five is Chanel Chance Eau Vive. This one is probably the only true citrus on this list. It has notes of grapefruit, blood orange. It's very delectable, zingy, but very like refreshing and a little bit sweet in the opening. And then it goes to a nice jasmine that's in there. So with all of those citruses, you get a really beautiful jasmine note. And this one blew me away with its longevity and the way that it smells. I talked about this one in my Chanel collection video and how underrated it is out of all of the Chance line. Like they're all good, but this one somehow flies under the radar and it's actually so long lasting and if you get it on clothing like it is not coming off I've gotten it on clothing and I had to wash it to get it off it lasts all day as well the way that it develops is so beautiful how it transitions from those citruses into the jasmine and then into this muskiness and this woodiness in the dry down like it's just lovely if you guys haven't tried this one you really need to get your noses on this i was initially like put off because i thought that it would be a grapefruit fragrance and i'm just not really into grapefruity like only grapefruity type of fragrances but then i got it i smelled it i was like what this is not grapefruit this is like magic this is all kinds of good stuff in a little round bottle definitely check out the chanteau vive guys for real you'll thank me later number four is ysl libre eau de toilette this is the new one that just came out this one has a gorgeous note of jasmine tea it's so refreshing and this is just as long lasting as the eau de parfum this one's a little bit fresher it has this little bit of a tea nuance along with that lavender there's a very clean muskiness. It still has very much that original Libre DNA. So if you wanted to go for the Eau de Parfum, they're very, very similar. This one's a little bit more fresh. It's a little bit less expensive and it lasts just as long. So that's why the Eau de Toilette is on this list. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I wore it so many times since I got the bottle. I wore it three days straight um, and I love it. It's, it's just the perfect Libre for the summer. So definitely, check this one out 
I am a huge fan of Libre. As you guys know, I rave about this fragrance all the time. It's one of my most complimented. And now I have a full trio. The Eau de Toilette for the summer is just like chef's kiss. It's so good. Number three is Hermes L'Eau de Marais Bleu. This is a really true aquatic scent. This is very much the sea. This is sea notes, like actual aquatic -y notes. Like you feel like you're right by the sea. I fully missed the paper on that first spray. It's salty. It's almost like a little bit seaweedy, but woody and dry. There's like, there's no sweetness in here. It's just a beautiful, dry, salty, aquatic, woody fragrance. I'm pretty sure there's patchouli in here as well. This one is very unisex, and that's why I love it so much. Like, I love a beautiful, aquatic, unisex fragrance, and I think this would smell amazing on men too. So men, don't be afraid to try this if you haven't already. Marketing is marketing. But yes, this is pretty much just a true aquatic scent. And I think this one's probably like one of the furthest from the L'Eau de Merveille line. This one, it is really kind of its own thing. It's just, it's just very aquatic-y, very marine-like and salty and delicious. Like I do still smell the similarity to L'Eau de Merveille because it has this like sun-kissed kind of like burnt skin smell but now with aquatic seaweedy woody touches so even better the next two are my most long-lasting ones on this list and on number two is burberry her this one is a monster projector and a monster performer all around like it fills a room it leaves a beautiful trail you can smell it down the hall if somebody's walked by it's fresh and airy and a little bit sweet but it still has this like beautiful airiness about it i love this one this one is the one that i like in the heat and then the intense is the one that i like when it's a lot cooler out like i can't wear the intense right now this one i can wear in the heat of summer it's so girly, beautiful, flirty, sexy. I love that strawberry note, like all of those berries in there, the vanilla, like it's mouth-watering. It's so good. And I'm like blown away by the performance of this fragrance. This one and Burberry Her are some of the best performing designer fragrances on the market right now. So yeah, if like you wanna go for something sweet and girly and flirty, this is the one. And this one lasts me 10 hours, no problem. And number one, you guys are gonna be shocked. This, like, you guys never saw this coming. Lode Issy from Issy Miyake from 1992, you guys. This fragrance is such an incredible cheapie. It's like 40 bucks and, oh my God, it smells so good. It's lotus, melon, aquatic-y, like a little tiny bit fresh spicy. Oh my God. This is such a beautiful, aquatic -y, floral, fresh fragrance. It's very airy. It's very much not what you smell these days at all. Like you will smell so different with this one. And this is an eau de toilette and it lasts me all day, all day. Like I'll get 10, 12 hours out of this, no problem. And it like leaves a trail that people can smell my friend too wore this to work and she got compliments i get compliments when i wear it people notice it people love this like it slept on so badly and i'm telling you guys if you haven't tried this ever something about it just didn't appeal to you like for me it looks like a little bit of like a pinocchio cone so i was never like kind of wowed by the packaging and i think that's kind of why i ignored it but then i went and got it one day and i was like what what why is this so good like for that low of a price this is just like this should be illegal anyway that's on number one you guys absolutely need to check it out if you haven't and that is my list of the top 10 long lasting fresh fragrances that you can wear in the summer or you can wear anytime anytime you're feeling like wearing a fresh fragrance and you want it to last these are the 10. And I almost forgot my two honorable mentions. They are honorable mentions because one is discontinued and it is Mon Guérin Eau de Toilette. This is your favorite Mon Guérin, but lighter. It has more lavender. It's less deep. It's more airy and fresh. And this one I'll just spray up in the air because I want my house to smell like lavender. 
super long lasting for an eau de toilette, but the problem is is discontinued. So I didn't want to put it in the main list because it can be a little bit hard to find. If it isn't hard to find now, it probably will be soon. But yeah, the price point is incredible. The longevity all day, like eight hours, no problem. So yeah, it's a summery, lighter, fresher Mon Guerlain. The other honorable mention is a fragrance you guys probably have never heard of. And this is from a brand called Foa. And this is number 17. This is from their palm collection. The whole line of fragrances is inspired by palm trees. It has a palm accord and it's like, it's this like balmy green, milky, almost like a milky coconut. Like when you take like a young coconut that's not ripe, kind of like that sort of smell. That like coconut water that's inside, kind of like that. But this also has cherry blossom. It has a lychee. It has a little bit of a pine note in the dry down. It's a really different freshie. It's so good and it's really long lasting too like this one i get six to eight hours it's not like insane insane longevity so that's why it's an honorable mention but the scent profile is so unique and it's so beautiful that it just smells so luxurious and rich but very very fresh at the same time just like very airy green and light like slightly floral but so different like nothing like you've ever smelled before and this one it's a little tricky to find it's a little bit expensive but uh you can find it on raffinade perfumery that's where i got mine so i'll link everything down in the description for you and the thing too with these bottles is they're refillable like you're meant to keep these as a work of art forever they're glass they're murano glass and they're actually like they're made as a work of art so there you go i have now thoroughly blabbered about everything and let me know in the comments please what your favorite long lasting fresh fragrance is i'll definitely check it out you might even see it in my next haul i always love discovering new fragrances so let me know and if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up please subscribe if you guys have made it this far you watched the video and you're not subscribed yet hit that sub button what are you waiting for become a friend of the show we'll do fun fragrance things together and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye